Okay, so Skyscraper is the 2018 film starring The Rock and Nev Campbell. Now, in this one, The Rock is former FBI agent, because he's either former FBI or former military. And if you watch the trailers, you know that he's missing part of his leg. And now he's overseeing, he's doing security assessment of the world's biggest building. When everything starts to go wrong. The weird thing about this film is it takes so many different styles of tension builders and throws them in almost like every 10 minutes something new ends up happening. So the film does not feel slow at all. Like it builds in about the first like half an hour, 40 minutes, gets all the pieces in place. And then it's like, okay, and there's the gun, run. We're just going to run to the end of this film. So, you've got giant tower. The building's on fire. It's in Hong Kong, so you got foreign language issues. He's got a family. It's stuck in the building. That's on fire. There's bad guys. So he's already dealing with height. He's dealing with technology. He's dealing with, there's almost every single thing you could deal with, and people with guns. And it seems like, like I said, every 10 minutes, he does something that you go, okay, oh, that's kind of, that's kind of out there. Then you're like, they just top what they just did. Okay. From an action standpoint, worked well. My wife was almost getting like anxiety attacks from how much tension they build in some of the dramatic moments. And the great thing too is the rock half the time is going. Oh, no. I have to do this. This this is dumb. Whether it's you know these a lot of duct tape, which I thought was great. He gets injured. He uses duct tape to patch it up. He needs to do things that one would not wish to do 300 feet in the air in some cases since where he's at uh, he would be like a thousand feet in the air give or take because the building's about 3,000 feet tall they do a great job of foreshadowing so they actually go into the place called the Pearl which is the giant dome on top The scene in that is fantastic, and you can tell when you see it, you're like, that is going to factor in perfectly into the climax. I'm so glad they gave it to, they gave this moment to us. They do enough small things earlier in the film that just scream like, yeah, we're doing this now. And in like an hour and a half, it's like, this, yeah, we telegraphed this perfectly. I liked it. That was good. I think that The Rock was very good in this. This is The Rock's version of Die Hard. I did find it odd that they give him the you know, missing part of his leg to try to make him seem less superhuman, because his stature makes him just a monster when you see him. And then you see what he's doing. And as long as you suspect this belief, you know, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with what he's doing. But if you think about it too hard, you kind of go, wait. Wait, what? No, there's no way he could have done that and not be absolutely dead. To, oh, he's gonna do that now. Okay. He's gotten a level of adrenaline that's superhuman when it comes to level. He's doing things that even Spider Man, after a while, would be like, I just, I just take, take a few minutes. The action scenes have done well. Some of the, the CGI, especially when they do like lots of the heavy fire effects, you can kind of go, it's good, but you can tell that there's just so much going on that they might have, you know, not put in as much effort into some of the fire effects. But beyond that, if you're in the mood for a good, like, 100-minute action film, and you're a fan of Die Hard, still want to see Bruce Willis, Skyscraper's a pretty good bet.